But what, from what we know is that once you have been infected with COVID-19 uh, and you recovered, you do have what you call natural immunity. You do build up natural immunity. So why should people who have uh, been infected with COVID-19 and have recovered uh, and probably do have some kind of level of natural immunity, uh, why do they still need to take the vaccine? Don't, aren't they already, uh, you know, don't they already have you know, antibodies that should last for a while and protect them from the virus from being reinfected again? Yeah, I, that's a great question. And I, again, you know, it's, it's how we actually interpret the data that's out there. True, you can develop natural immunity, but there's also a lot of data that comes out that one third of individuals that um, contracted the virus and, and, and were hospitalized um, and then recovered did not develop a strong enough antibody response. In fact, detectable antibody response. Another one third of individuals, within three months, the antibody levels had dropped to a level that was undetectable anymore. And only one third of those individuals were able to um, you know, mount a, a strong antibody response. And which is why um, over the course of a year, we have seen how individuals who have contracted um, and, and suffered from symptoms, became ill again a second time due to repeated infections. Um, and so although there are going to be individuals that you know, will have higher levels of neutralizing antibodies, the decline of these antibodies and the fact that there are one third of individuals that don't develop enough of this antibody response suggests that the immune response that comes from a naturally acquired infection is not sufficiently uniformed. And that is exactly why an effective COVID-19 produces a more controlled, robust, strong, and long-term adaptive immune response for the majority of individuals. And that proven data of preventing serious adverse outcomes cannot be substituted by natural immunity, which is also why even individuals who have had history of infection is recommended to be vaccinated, right? So you have to understand that, you know, if a new infection fails to build your ability to develop the memory B cells so that your body is able to manufacture the antibodies if you are going to have a second infection, then unfortunately, you're going to be at risk again. 